priest of the All Saints Anglican Church in New Amsterdam reveals his plans for the church in this Narima Ali report. Father Raymond Cummings was appointed the parish priest of the All Saints Anglican Church in January of this year by the Bishop of Guyana, Right Reverend Charles Davidson, and he has been serving in that capacity to date. Apart from his responsibilities at the All Saints Anglican Church, he is also in charge of other parishes in Berbice. Also in charge of the St. Patrick's Church, well, the parish, that is in Kanji. And I also serve as the priest in charge of the St. Margaret's Parish and St. Mary's on the Upper Quarantine. I've been in Burbies uh, just over three years uh, because before coming to New Amsterdam, I was at the St. Margaret's and St. Mary's, that is uh, way up in Skeldon area, Kurifatan Skeldon. And I've served, I was serving there for like two years. I was asked to come here to assist uh, when, they, when their need for a priest arose. And I was here for about maybe six or eight months before I was asked to take over as a priest in charge of New Amsterdam. Father Cummings was asked how he feels about being included in the history of the All Saints Anglican Church. And he responded by saying, it's been interesting, and it's, it's a privilege to be here, especially at this time when we're celebrating the 180th anniversary. I, w I was privileged to be at the cathedral uh, in Georgetown at a time when they were celebrating the 125th year of the uh, construction of the, uh, the erection of that building that we know as St. George's Cathedral today. Uh, I was part of that history, and I'm happy to be here to be part, another part of a significant history in the Anglican Church in Guyana. Father Cummings shared the list of activities that are planned for the church's 180th anniversary. On the 23rd, we'll be starting with a Thanksgiving service that will commence at about seven hours. We'll start with a procession from the arch coming into the church on the 24th. One of the members of the church here in New Amsterdam will be ordained to the order of the diaconate. That is uh, Mr. Ezra Mincy. He's been serving here as a lay minister for a number of years. And he will be ordained uh, to the diaconate on uh, that Monday at the cathedral in Georgetown, the St. George's Cathedral. The bishop will be doing that ordination. On the Tuesday, we'll be doing hamper distribution. Uh, to some shut-ins in and around New Amsterdam as part of us giving back to the community. On the 26th and 27th, we'll be commissioning a play bars in the Espionade. Yeah, we'll go be going to the Espionade. That's part of giving back to the community also. On the Friday evening, we'll have a grand a banquet. The banquet will be held at the Dave Reception Hall and it gets on the way at about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Of course, you have to pay for that. That one is the only one that you have to pay for. It's $3,000 for the tickets and we're hoping to raise enough money so that we can do something major in terms of getting the church in order as we continue to celebrate and minister to the people in New Amsterdam. On the Saturday evening, we have the youth evening and that is that will take the form of a campfire talent night on the sunday the sunday the 30th that will be our final uh, activity that is the actual day of the establishment of all saints uh, and on that sunday we'll have a grand concelebrated mass here at uh, all saints church it will start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we, we're expecting lots of dignitaries. That is where we've invited lots of people who have been part of the activities of All Saints over the years. Persons who have contributed to All Saints, we've invited them to be here with us to celebrate. That service will be celebrated, uh, will be officiated over by the Bishop of Guyana, Bishop Charles Davison. That those are the activities basically that we have. Of course, I as a priest in charge would want to uh, encourage all persons who have had any association with All Saints or if you just want to come and be part of history to come out to these services and celebrate with us as we celebrate 180 years of mission and ministry in New Amsterdam. Finally, 
He revealed his plans for the church and its members as the new parish priest. The church has been in New Amsterdam for a number of years and uh, based on the history of the church and those who might know it better than me, it has had mi mixed fortunes and we are hoping that at this time, this time uh, in the history of the church, 180 years going forward, that we will try to recapture some of the, the past glory, and I put glory in uplifted commas, and maybe get into some of the services. That is one of the things that I've been challenged in the church since I got here, to look more at what they can do in the community, to deal with the issues in the community. For persons who know me know that I'm not a person who likes to sit a lot. I, I just don't like to sit. I like to move around and I like to do quite, uh, I, I like to always be on the go. And it's my, my conviction that the church in a community should be visible not only as a set of people who worship, but a set of people who are among the people where people can feel a sense of belonging a sense of fulfillment when they come into contact with the members of the church. One of the things I've been asking them, and it's a challenge that I'm putting forward, and it's the challenge that I'm going to use as part of my message on the 23rd, is should tomorrow morning the doors of all saints close forever, what it is the community will miss, or what it is the community will lose by not having all Saints here. And it's a challenge for us to think about as we uh, plan for the future, as we look at what we're doing in community, and uh, as we look at how our ministry is affecting the lives of people. Like all other parish priests that have served at this parish over the past 179 years, Father Cummings will do his utmost in moving the church forward. Nurima Ali, Channel 8 News.